Yes, Nicholas, back, back after a little breakage. Oh, yes. Got something really special for you tonight. This is MacPup. Yes, MacPup. This is MacPup 529. Yes, 529. And you can't actually get it just yet, but it will be available real soon, and I will let you know when you can. Thank you, Koki. Right, it's not based on Slacko or the new puppy. No, this is based on Puppy Precise. So it still uses the old Debian Stroke Ubuntu repos, although you can use the Puppy repos as well to get some other stuff. But most of the stuff you're going to want is on here anyway. The download is around about 190 megs, so it's nice and quick. Boots okay, installs okay, I've done it okay. The only one thing is I had to use Grub for DOS to get the uh, bootloads to work correctly, but hey, that's hunky dory. So let's get a little bit ground, shall we? Oh, well, the first thing we want to look at, John just told me to show you was over here we'd have a new connect icon for your wireless and Ethernet connection. But bearing in mind, Ethernet connects automatically. If you've got wireless, this is the baby for you, okay? I've tried it on several wireless devices, all work fine for me, not had any problemos, so that's okay. There you go. Lovely, 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 lovely. Click here, do your wide or wireless LAN, or what you want to do. Set up a firewall, okay? So if I click on set up a firewall, it's the other thing you need to do even when you're running on a live CD, okay? If you do it to a save file, then you have to do it once. If you're booting and just use a live CD as it is, you have to do it every time. We click there, there, and there. Basically, I've already done it, but you just click enter and off you go. And we're all ready to rock and roll. So that's that bit out of the way. Right, what else have we got here for you? I've not installed any extra things in it either. This is like a nice clean version. Over here, we've got our settings for E17 and Lightman. So here you can do your wallpapers, your themes, get your apps, your startup applications, your screen resolutions and screen locks, etc. Your input devices. I could go on, but I'll do another video in the future when everything's hunky dory sorted, okay? Well, I've had no crashes, no problems with it whatsoever. So yeah, that's all from good. Over here, we've got our shutdown menu, as you would do. Cancel that. We'll get a help page. Hello, help page. Now, that's nice. Tells you all about it. See, it was supposed to be released a little bit earlier, but hey, we're only a few days late, so don't worry about it. Nice. Oh, by the way, while we're here, okay, what's this? About Firefox? We're with Firefox 14.0.1, so that's the latest and greatest from the Fox. Oh, yeah, Foxy baby. Okay, he can go. Also here we've got our wizard wizard, yeah, okay. So basically you can set up lots and lots of stuff here, including your firewall again. You set up your CD and DVD readers and burners, set up your printing, connect to the internet, so there's another key for it. Upgrade your X drivers, but mine are all up to date. There we go, so that's lovely jubbly. Set up your sound, keyboard and mouse, start up and for your country, like your language basically. Yeah, mind your language, lovely. But Firefox, I've just shown you, so that's nice. We've got the rocks for your file manager here, so that's nice too. And P mount for unmounting your USB keys and stuff like that. Got the H top to show you what's going down under the hood, so let it settle down a second. And here we go, that's all right. Now. Old Joel Coyer, I'll give it loads of swap as you can see, but it's never going to use any. We're only using 52 to humble along. And if I open up, let's have a look. The Fox, for instance. Minimise that. Hello, Mr. Fox, we're minimising you. We're only using 82, so that's not too bad at all, really, is it? No, it's quite good, I thought. Yeah, really, really good. So, anyway, that's that out of the way. Thank you very much. That's done. Oh, sorry, by the way, I've got Fox open twice here. You'll notice when you've got minimised applications, that they will come to the side. So, if I can say, get all set for you. Remember, you left click to get all the application stuff up. And we'll go down to, well, might as well go down to document. And Abbey Word, okay? I'll open Abbey Word up for you. I'll show you what version it is before we do anything else about Abbey Word. It's 2.8.6. I know it's the most, not the most current version, but it will do what it says on the tin. Now, if I minimise that, as you can see, it goes over there. Look. So you know your applications that are open, which is very nice indeed. But I'm going to leave them open because that's the sort of guy I am, OK? Right, as I said before, if you left click your desktop, you'll get your menu. So you get applications, so you get business stuff. As you can see, there's not much you're going to really have to ha add here, really. G numerics here for doing your spreadsheets. You've got home bank for doing your banking finances. It's very, very quick, very, very ultra quick, by the way. You've got plenty of calculators. Desktop themes and settings, as you can see, plenty there. Document publishing, we've just been there, haven't we? File system, rocks is there, as you can see. You can add others if you really want to. There's a few games in there, so we've got Rubik's Cube game, if I open them up, as you can see there. I want to minimise that to the side as well, because we've got plenty running. I'll show you how stable it is, can't I? You can also get your menu from here, here and here, but it doesn't really matter. Right under utilities, as you can see, there's plenty here. If you're only going to do a file storage system, you can resize your storage space here, copy and drive partitions and stuff like that. 
all the archiving stuff, your flash preferences is here, I've installed flash, that's all hungly of the Dory, SFS convert is there for you as well, and the system, okay, now although I'm using Grub for DOS because I couldn't get the original Grub bootloaders to do the business basically, it just didn't want to do it, but G part is here too, format a floppy disk, I don't think I actually got any left anymore to be really honest with you, there's your system memory, system status, so blah 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 blah, H stops here again, we'll open it up for her here for you so you can see that opens everywhere else, and as you can see, we're using 8 mega RAM, processor not doing too much is it really, and we've got 3 apps open, 4 including H stop, yes. Okay, where was we? Oh yeah, I remember now. We go down to setup. Remember, we've been to setup before where you can set up everything else, but you can also remaster the live CD. So you can actually add some programs if you really wanted to, or take some out and just make it your own. Yes, your own MacPa. Lovely. Okay, where were we? Yeah, okay, personal. Bcrypt is here for your favourite stuff, Figaro for your password manager, so it's all here for you. But obviously one of them you're gonna use a lot is multimedia. Now, Asunder comes standard, Bacon Recorder comes standard. You get a CD player and you also get Double F Convert, which basically converts anything to anything. Yes, I can guarantee that one. You've also got P Music for playing your stuff, that's okay, yeah. Pup Radio Telly, that's also there. And you've got some burning utilities here, including P Burn, yeah. P Burn, yeah. P Burn. I'll open up the CD player, just so you can have a look. There we are. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Now this is error when I run grub, so but nothing really happens, so that's fine, hunkly dory, it will play your CDs. We'll also minimise that to go down there as well. Okay. So I'm sure before it's actually released, then ones will get sorted out. This is why I'm allowed to show you before you get it and slag it off basically. Okay. Right, back to applications again. Multimedia again. Anything else there we're gonna open up? Not really. But right, under internet. Obviously you get Firefox for your web browsing, Axel for your download accelerator, AYTTM for messaging basically, and the day. Remember you can get Skype for it as well. Yes, it's out there. Mebo, yeah, some people like it, some people don't. Um pub advert blocker. So that locks all the adverts when you're browsing. And also puppy phone, internet telephone here, or PSIP is also here. And transmission, of course. Under graphics. Ooh, I'll get that breath now. Right, screenshot browser, view noir is here, graphics editors is here, so we've got Intlight and MT Paint. Scroll down, scroll down. You can get GIMP as well, by the way, before I forget to tell you. PZ Easy Scan is there for your scanner, but you can just set that all up at your leisure. Under fun, as I said, showed you that before. Now, in use, it is really, really nice to use, very fast, and I like it. Yeah, really, really super duper. No crashes, no nothing. Yeah, as you've just seen before, E17. Bucks up a little bit for a couple of things. This is why you can't have it, as I've just told you before. On the whole, it's super duper, and as soon as it's available, I'll let you know, and you can go and woof and download it. Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later. Bye bye.